September 6th, I want to continue on this situation in Chicago. I mean, right now, this video that came out shows, uh, well, let me just play it. Then I'll make my commentary about what I see. Wow, mira. He said, he said, wow, look. He's on 66. The other guy in the distance said, Casa Mia, that means my house. And this guy here in the hat said, Home Blocks. Home Block, Mama Huevo. Mama Huevo is, um, it's Venezuelan, but it also has a mixture of, I might be wrong, I've heard this before, Dominican, may, maybe Dominican, Venezuelan, but it could be camouflaging, it could be Venezuelan, I, I don't know, maybe somebody out there could correct me on this one, I'm doing the best I can to translate. It's an on blast, it's, it's right over here, and they're over on the other side of the street walking northward it looks like yeah because in the background you can see a crane there's like construction like a crane up back right here where my fingers at yeah it looks like a crane Okay, so that's on block, Chicago, Southside. Let's take a look to see, let's take a better look using Google Maps. Okay, I punched in the coordinates. 66, it'll be right here, right there. So let's, matter of fact, let's take a look backwards. Okay, there's the crane that you can see in the background. So. He's apparently he's work he's walking in this this direction right here now these are the the, the apartment complexes so we're on 66th street and, and and Martin Luther King South Martin Luther King Drive this is the 65th I'm gonna take it to what happened on the 6400 block that's where the incidents happen okay we're almost approaching it right here okay 6400 block there it is right there apparently they let's take a take a look over here apparently wow this looks like pretty a lot of a lot of apartment structures here security was a gate and all okay there's a sign that's the one we saw on tv so that's parkway garden that's on block 6400 block okay so whatever happened spinning around whatever happened happened in that area right there because you see the fence line the guy's photo let's take a outer look okay let me use my pointer get the pointer out bear with me the 6400 block be right here martin luther king drive all this all this right here I could go down more so all this is where the apartments are at in this neck of the, red, neck of the woods right next to the rail yo, railroad yards let's take a street level okay we're in the street level okay so there's the apartment there's 65th street there's 66 so when he's walking apparently he's walking northward and all this is the old blocks apartments but what I find interesting is this right here this is a container yard. Wow. Look at look at all those trailers. So that's where the, the rail, the trains drop off their containers and the truck drivers pick up the containers for delivery or or put it in, put it in on the on the rail rail yard for the train. So it's right next to a highly industrial I mean container train that's train transportation so if they're in this ne neck of the woods if they're here establishing residence in this in this area they're not too far i mean they could just cross this fence right here 
and get to these containers. Hmm. Very smart. Now they said the the government's putting them here, Section Eight, because I'm I'm getting reports from other sources. I'm like, damn, the Venezuelans all yeah, bro. They all I'll leave a link down below. They yes. I think they said like a. a I can't put a number on it, but just know a lot of they ass over here, bro. They downtown, they out west, they out south, all that shit. But look. Yeah, there was a situation with the, the Latin Kings put a video out. And I put a link down below when I find it. Uh, so many. Uh, I've been just looking around, looking at it, recon it, seeing the, what's happening. Because I do have ties to the city for almost. So they, they, they caught them. And the, the reason I knew they were Latin King because they had the king symbol. I mean, they talk in codes. I think it was a park in Humble Park. It had to be Humble Park area. And they caught these two kings or more, and they recorded it for a brief moment. And they knocked this Venezuelan who stole a purse from an old lady. And they were saying, this beepity beep mother beep stole this purse, and we caught his beep beepity beep, and we kicked this beep. They, you know, and then they cut the video, so... Apparently, he was going to get poetic justice, and then from there, uh, after they justice, uh, turn him over to the police. So that's happening in, in the Spanish neighborhood. Uh, I don't know the exact location, but I'm assuming it's a Humble Park area. And there was another incident, too. It was a couple months ago during the winter time. No, no, during, I think it was the spring, where one of them killed a Mexican, like in a Mexican a fiesta over there by the south side. I think it was around 13th Street. I don't remember where they're concentrated and they caught the guy and uh, and that's the last thing I know. So it's not only happening in the in the in, in it was another one too. I put links to all these videos down in my comment section when I find it. I put the time well, I put a time there's so much happening so so many other uh, let's listen a little bit more here. It's some footage that's going viral of the Venezuelans walking past Parkway Gardens. They ain't, they on the other side of the street. They on the other side of the street. They not on the side of the Parkway, but they right across the street. They they put the shit on camera and everything. They put the point of their camera at Old Block so y'all can see where they at. They were saying Old Block in the middle of them speaking Spanish. They like, yeah, Old Block. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... So it's on footage of they ass walking up the block and they saying all this shit. They like, yeah, old block, they speaking Spanish and shit. And then, you know, the dude that's on camera, he's just talking his shit. But I guess his homie in the background just started letting off shots, bro. I think he was shooting in the L or whatever. I don't know which way he was shooting, but he just started letting off shots, man. You know, goddamn it. It seemed like uh, a regular gun without a switch, and then the same, oh, it's the same gun, you know what I'm saying? Like his ass probably, you know what I'm saying, press the button or whatever, but you know, first it was some regular shots, then it was like some automatic shots, and you know, like his homie walk up next to him while he on camera, and they just started laughing, bro. They just started laughing. I ain't gonna lie, bro, you know, at the end of the day, I've been seeing, cause y'all know we had made that report about 61st of King Drive over there, uh, by Fredo and them shit. Fredo, and them, Fredo and them shit really 61st of in Indiana, but you, it's all in the same area. So it's like, you know, the whole time, you know, when, when that video came out, a lot of people made videos about that shit, but like once that story came out, you know what I'm saying? Y'all feel like y'all got hold and start lying and be like, man, they wasn't never even over here. What's up, what? Somebody just made up some 911 calls or shorty them an old block if they decide to come out. Like, man, they ain't even come up. Like, man, y'all ass, all y'all ass, front of y'all shit. The old block shit, we got the video. The goddamn at 61st shit, we got the calls, man. This shit really going on, bro. You know? But whole time, these Venezuelans finna get BTA. They finna get put belt to ass, man. Four them finna put that belt to their ass. Real shit. Okay, let me pause there for a second and fast forward. Okay, let's continue. I'm saying like, you know, I mean, we can all agree that the, at this point, we can all agree that the Venezuelan not no hoes. But at the same time, bro, it's like that ass bleeds just like everybody else, fool. And 
I ain't gonna lie, man. Them Venezuelans, they gonna be on the news real soon, man. Everybody ain't going for this shit. You was like, you you hearing all these damn stories? The Venezuelans over here, the Venezuelans over there, they ass finna start getting stressed, fool. Some of they ass probably stressed already right now. That shit just ain't made the news or whatever, but yeah, man, you know. But nah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit. The Venezuelans did pull up on old block. They did let off some shots. And you know, like shit, there's consequences by behind everything you do, man. You know, if short. Listen to this. We're going to see how everything going to play out. I low-key know how the shit going to play out, man. It's going to be a war, man. It's mm. going to be a war. It's going to be casualties on both sides. Because, like I said, the Venezuelans not no hoes. The shorty them not going. You know, like, shorty them ain't finna keep going for, you know, all this goof-ass shit going on, you know, but, you know, everything gonna play out. But look, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Here's another site right here. Eagle, they real gangsters, and man, they, they trying to take over. Now, um, it was shots fired, reported, um, 6415 South King Drive, um, inside Old Block. Um, and then it was a video of the migrants, the the Venezuelans walking down old walking down King Drive, showing old block, and it was gunshots let off, gunshots, and they was walking down, and they was deep. Now, Pastor Brooks had came out. Now, this is the pastor. This is the pastor who loved old block. This is the pastor who got the church. This is the pastor who Big Dale then was with. This is the pastor who do Project Hood. This is the pastor who was just with Donald Trump. He came out and retweeted. The shots fired at 6415 South King Drive. And not only did he retweet Spot News, but he also said, gave out a warning to the residents that that they think that um, the Venezuelans that live in a building don't have a lot of guns. Y'all crazy. Um, to be careful. And this is the pastor. This is Pastor Brooks. Like I said, was with Big Dale, Project Hood, the famous old block pastor who held all the funerals. He even nervous. Hey, now... For the people who still don't believe, type in Chicago Woodline uh, Migrants. Type in Woodline Migrants, and you're going to see Dro City, where the migrants was chasing um, the gang members. They was actually chasing the gang members. The gang members tried to kick them off the block, and they got into it with the gang members, and they outnumbered the gang members, man, and was chasing them, robbed them, assaulted them. People who was even willing to press charges on the block. And then after that, the immigrants, it was another call that the migrants wouldn't leave. They was posted up. Like, they posted up on 62nd, 61st, and Kenwood, and they wouldn't leave. This is not a myth or none of that. I don't know what the other guys talking about with the shots fired yesterday. Um, um, they had came out at 11. They had came out at 11.30 this morning, man. Came here to tell y'all, man, y'all be safe out there. Oak Block, Tukerville, um... DOD, Bloodhounds, um, Trap City, TYMB, 051, OBN, um, Welch Rural, 757, um, Bando, KD, them, Blizzell, Sama, them, THF, OTF, 300, Lamb Ryan, man. Hey, man, look, I advise y'all, man, to get this shit together, man. Stop killing each other. Stop fighting each other. Stop going to war, man, with each other, man. It's time to wake up, man. Get some money, bro. Everybody dead, and we can't bring those people back. But what we will not do is embarrass each other and, and let this race outtake us and push us out. You know what I'm saying? Push us out. Because right now they act like they want to send us over there and let, let them over here. You know? But y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Pastor Brooks, he did come out and say that the immigrants are taking over. They have a building over there with nothing but immigrants, a whole big old building. Right on the side of Vernon. The building stretched from damn near King Drive all the way to Vernon. And they got that building. If you go, if you look up Google 66 and King Drive, you will see this big old brown building that stretch all the way around the corner. And they got that building with a whole bunch of units. And they in now living by no rules. They they Yeah, that's right by the the rail yard, right by the containers. Like I said, I'll, I'll leave a link down below with the other incidents. Uh, there was another one I saw, I, with the same videos. They were dressed up as uh, lawn workers with the, you know, with that vest, a uh, yellow color vest, trying to gain access. And the woman, the she, it had to be a, a stood up, stopped them. And but one did break into the house. Don't remember the exact location. 
but uh, there was shots fired. They 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 broke in there and she fired, she fired back, and one of them got hit. So this this is, I'll, like again, I'll leave the link down below and you could stroll. But Chicago is uh is on fire. I mean, you're not gonna hear it on the news. There's gonna be a blackout. They're gonna be you know a police scanner, you know different channels, different codes. You're not gonna hear it. They're gonna keep this low profile, but. Little by little, they can't hide the truth for those in Chicago, those everywhere. There, I mean, there's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I saw it on Twitter X of people already lost their lives, mostly women. They go after the women because they're the weakest. And don't matter what color you are, what political party you are, I mean, they'll, they'll jack you up big time. They'll come in at They'll break into your house at one or two or three or four o'clock in the morning so damn fast. Uh, you better have something under your pillow. And, and like I said, you secure the doors. I mean, they'll cut, even if you have a alarm system, they'll, they'll cut that security camera. They'll put spray paint. Um, if you got a dog, you get an early warning system. But these people are not playing around. They're not playing around. I mean,. It don't matter. Like I said, there was one Venezuelan that, um, but it's not, not only Venezuelan. You got other races coming in across the border, but the other ones are laying low, for the, waiting for the time to get the green light. But these Venezuelans, I guess they, they, they can't control them. They're the local types from the prisons. And it's, and it's not only they're having problems here in Chicago, Colorado, New York, L.A., uh, Dallas. I mean, they, 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 they're causing problems in a lot of Latin American countries. Uh, Colombia, Central America, South America, wherever they go, they, lay, they, they, they set up their base. They cause havoc. They're into trafficking, uh, human trafficking, women trafficking, child trafficking. A lot of kidnappings happening. A lot of kidnapping of children. You, the only way you're going to get the real news is if you follow X go on X, they're the only ones telling the truth everything else is censored everything's fine here, and there's nothing to see here so so it's happening let's take one more last look so don't, don't get confused they're gonna, they're gonna blame other races they'll say that it's, uh, it's a Dominicans uh, or it's a Puerto Ricans or there's, it's a uh, no no, 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 no. Uh, you got to you gotta think tactically. You got to think 3D, 5D chess. You got to... You, remember, a lot of these, like I said, could be former military or f our current military on an overseas operation. Now, I'm just speculating. I'm just guessing. I'm just thinking out loud. So beware. It's on. And even here in Central Florida, they have... A lot of them just talk to a regular uh, mail delivery and um, person. They'll tell you where they're at. I mean, they're here right in right here in, in Central Florida, and they're being housed and they're being given fit all this money. You know, if I had fifteen thousand dollars in food stamps, you know that that probably lasts me a whole year, a whole year. But what they do with the food stamps, they sell it for money. They get cash money on that too, and all that cash. I mean, there's American people suffering with debts, credit card debts. Everything's going up. Rent's going up. Mortgage going up. The, 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 everything from A to Z, price-wide, food, gas, insurance, your cable, your internet, your everything. People cutting, cutting corners left and right. Medical, your, your medical supplies. Veterans of services are being cut. Benefits are being cut. I mean, every, anything to do with American, it's being cut. Imagine if you, everybody, w I mean, the, let's say people that make under, let's say under $50,000 with a family of four, for example, um, get a one-time check, a $13,000 food stamp. It doesn't have to be 15000 It could be, let's say, $5,000 food stamp and some assistance like we had before with uh with trump some money assistance to help out the people struggling right now 
But we don't have that. All that resource and money is being given out to the invaders. And when the light turns green, right now it's yellow, and the, the professionals, the heavy discipline uh, troops, they're in red. Okay? And, but uh, these, these clowns here, um, I mean, this is to them, this is a fiesta. I mean, a lot of them came out of prison. So this is to them, and they know that if they get arrested, they'll be turned to ice, and you need to check out the, the Polk County uh, Sheriff video that I posted. I left a link on the other, other the video before. I think it was the Civil War Chicago. Listen to the what happens to them when they get arrested. They get released. They get turned over. I mean, they could commit horrific crimes. I mean, burglary, robbery, everything from A to Z. And uh, they'll get turned over. And next thing you know, they get deported. Some get deported and just, come, just to come back the, the next week or next month. But this is, um, this is a war, bro. This is a war. Tamo na guerra. So at least um, in my hood, uh, where, I, where I used to run, they caught this guy stealing a, a purse from an old lady. And they gave him poetic justice. They got him, and they returned the purse to the um, to the person, to the lady that they stole it from. So this is happening in all fronts. And like I said, what I see, this is just a prediction. What I see for self-preservation is the first law of nature. The people that are in charge, that the majority are in prison but still run the operations. I, I see them, you know, I could see them taking a, a peace treaty to talk. They say, hey, man, I don't care what race you are. I don't care what gang you represent. Sit down and talk and say, listen, man, this is what's happening in my hood. What's happening in your hood? This is happening in my hood. What's happening in your hood? This is happening in my hood. I mean, we, you know, if, they, if these people get together and talk instead of, you know, trying to be macho man and try to out macho the other man and and talk and say hey man this put the cards on the table this is what's happening in my people this is what's happening in my folks this is happening in over here you might see a, a unification temporary who knows of people that's been fighting each other for for decades i mean since the since i can remember it was the early 60s you know when um, the kings uh, was formed, when I was young, basically their goal was at the beginning to defend uh, the people, you know, their people. So right now, I don't know. I haven't been in Chicago. I don't know what the mentality is. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what's happening there. I have no clue. I just started listening to some of this, but what I see is. I mean, you got pastor. I mean, they respect the pastor because the pastor is the one that buries, you know, does the funeral for all of them. There's a uh, do not touch order on the pastor. So, but they do listen to him because the pastor talks to all the others and must have a relationship with the others. So that's what that's what's happening. So that's the latest that I have. I know there's a lot more out there. I just touched upon one straw and a growing mountain layer. I don't know, man. This this thing, this thing is self-preservation, pal. So you know, like I said, they'll break into your house while you're in there, even if you have some um, some protection. They'll still break in there. So that tells you, that gives you an idea of the mentality. So it's the Wild Wild West, like Clint Eastwood movies. Those old Clint Eastwood movies. Who's the fastest? That's how things are now. And it's coming everywhere, even here. It's happening here in Florida, in old Miami. They had a Peruvian getting killed. I mean, there's so much. But you the, do not trust the media at all. They'll, they'll try to downplay it. And, you know, oh, uh, we're all getting together, kumbaya. No, there's so much. And um, there's going to be a time where I see this happening, too, by the way. This, this is what I see happening, too where these forces and, uh, for example, the sheriff and the police 
are going to work together and protect each other. That's what it's going to come down to because the National Guard is not going to save you. The military is not going to save you. Okay, I said enough.